Hello everyone, and welcome back. I've done a little bit of work to Hero since you last seen him, and unfortunately, that's the result of some lost footage. So I'm going to go over what I did and where I'm going from there. So I removed the head, I tore Hero down to basically nothing, and I straightened out a couple of panels. Uh, the panel for the head, the panel underneath it, and this bottom panel here were all bent. Um, I straightened them out the best I could, and I also replaced the bearing that the head sits on, uh, because that was damaged. Lucky for me, the company that manufactures it, uh, Triangle Manufacturing Company, still makes them, and it was only about $6 to replace it. So I really lucked out there. I also tidied the wiring and cleaned the PCBs, and I've applied power to it a couple times and done a little bit of playing with it, but not everything works, so I have to go through and troubleshoot some things. But before I get to that, I thought I would go over what does work and give you guys a little bit of a demo. So I have my variable voltage power supply here, which I'll just turn that on. And I got set to 12 volts. Just plug it in here. When I turn Hero on, he says, Ready. and Hero 1.3 which is a firmware version, displays on his screen. So I thought it would be kind of neat to demo a uh, program and uh, show you guys the uh, module and kind of talk about what it does and uh, all that good stuff. So in order to enter a program, hit A for auto. This is automatic memory address incrementing. I selected a memory location of 90. I'm telling it to speak starting at 0095. And then that command tells the CPU to wait when it's done speaking. So now I get to enter the sounds that Hero will make. Now, the company that made this is called Votrax, and it's a SIP01A uh, chip. And what it is, is it's a bunch of recorded snippets, and each snippet is a sound. And you don't tell it to say, hello, you say the uh, code for a particular sound. And it's a lot harder to do than you would think. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enter one of the examples that's in the manual uh, just for fun. So bear with me because this does take a little bit of time. And by a little bit of time, I mean a lot of bit of time. So here we go. So now that I've programmed Hero, how do I access that program? And it's actually quite simple. I hit A for auto, D for do, and then I type in the program address. Now when I hit the last character of the program address, it executes the program. And so without further ado, here's what I programmed Hero to say. And that's it. The downside of this method of program entry is that it's all in random access memory. Now what that means is that if I turn Hero off, I lose that program that I just spent all this time entering. So what I would like to do is build a RS-232 communication board so that I can enter programs from a computer because typing it in takes a really long time. So. If you enjoyed this 
Ich bin der 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 Ich b